Good evening, uh, Dan Fitzpatrick here at StockMarketMentor.com on St. Patrick's Day. Um, I don't know where you are, but what I want to ask is a very personal question. What are you wearing right now? Better be green, okay? This is a big day for us Irish people. All right, it's also a big day for biotech. Here's the thing. We're looking at the weekly chart here of the IBB. And I look at this and I'm thinking, okay, I see the pullback, um, I get that, but man, I'm just not exactly sure whether to pull the trigger because it's got, it's a long ways above this um, 20 period moving average, which is just the middle Bollinger Band. It's a long ways above that, you know, where it tagged it here. So this is kind of freaking me out a little bit. I don't think it's that great. Plus the 200 day moving average or 40 week moving average. It's up above that, but then, and I'm just kind of arguing both sides, but then you know what? It hasn't really hit that in quite a while anyway, so maybe that's not a big deal, but I really like the uptrend, so what am I to do? What the heck am I going to do with this thing? Well, here's how we do this. We make a decision. Yes, we want to be long biotech. I like this chart. I want to be long IBB. That's my decision. Now, how am I going to take action on this? See, think of it this way. You decide you love somebody. That's great. Good for you. Congratulations. Hopefully they love you back. But how are you going to show them? Because if you screw it up, it's not going to have the desired effect. Okay, so you make a decision and now you plan your action like flowers or not. And am I being hard enough, hard to get or too hard or whatever? In trading, you just go to the daily chart. Where are the buy points? Where are the points that you want to be buying the stock? Well, in the past, you know, we can, you're not going to get perfect trend lines here, but you can see like basically you buy these zigzags here. Now, though, if we look ahead and we connect this and this and this, and now, hey, right there, what do we get? Okay, we're actually getting a pretty solid trend line. We're buying on, that was a bad little move there. In fact, let's get rid of this. Okay. Buying on tags of this trend line. It's not a trend line here. It's just a low point. It's not a trend line here. That's just a connection between two points in, from the shortest distance. By the third one, now it's a trend line. You got a line drawn between uh, the shortest distance between two points. You extend that out. Finally, the third point, and I'm giving you pearls here on how to look at trend lines. The third pullback and bounce um, clarifies and confirms that this is an uptrend. And so now, lo and behold, what happens? This is where the stock is right now. So you buy it, and you're going to make a bunch of money when the stock or here the ETF goes up to there, right? Wrong. You hope you do, but what you're doing is you're buying at a low risk buy point. You insert a fairly tight stop below the level where you think the stock is bouncing. That way you are stopped out with a loss if this pattern breaks down. If the stock in fact doesn't bounce, you're stopped out for a loss, but you know what? You took your shot and that's all you can do. So what I'm saying is right now with the 50 day moving average at 251, you keep a stop at about 249, 248 on a new trade and then you're going to get back to this time frame and you're going to wind up being able to hold this trade. So um, anyway, that's the difference between decision and action. Um, deciding that you love somebody and showing them that you love them. Um, you got to be consistent in all those things or you're, you better have a tight stop.